Hello and welcome to the first part of my advanced Vulkan rendering tutorial series. In this part I'm going to show you how you can render an IMGUI window using the Vulkan tutorial example as a starting point. So let's get started. So first of all we go to the record command buff function and set the begin info flags to vk command buffer usage one time submit bit. Next, in the draw frame function, we remove the vk reset command buff function and move the record command buff function below the update uniform buffer function. When we compile and run this code, everything should still look the same as before. Now, in the create descriptor pool function, we multiply the descriptor count for the combined image sampler by 2. That's because IMGUI needs to allocate an extra texture for the font atlas. We do the same thing for the max sets and also set the pool info flags to VK descriptor pool create free descriptor set bit. Now below the init Vulkan function we can create a function called init imgui. Inside it we can create the imgui context. But before that you should include all the necessary imgui headers. And don't forget to actually call the init imgui function inside our run function. Now back in the init imgui function we add imgui config flags docking enables to the config flags. Next we initialize the gfw for Vulkan implementation. Then we fill out the imgui vulkan implementation init info constructor and give it to the imgui vulkan init function. Also, we need to start a one-time usage command buffer so that IMGUI can upload its texture atlas to the GPU. Last but not least, we need to destroy the upload objects. Everything that gets initialized needs to get destroyed, so in the cleanup function we shut down the IMGUI Vulkan and GFW implementation and also destroy the IMGUI context. The last thing we have to do is to go to the record command buff function and start our IMGUI rendering.
If we run our code, you should see your IAM GUI window, but something doesn't look right. That's because the surface format is set to sRGB and not UNO. Thanks for watching. The code for this project is on my GitHub. Link in the description. Like, subscribe. Bye.